Okay, Drake here. Yes, uh, yes, lots of wire behind me. So I am recording this as a update V vlog. Um, first off, I have just, I guess I have just started the pre-order for the Skipper toy. I will be sending a link in the bottom somewhere here. Yeah, a link in the bottom somewhere. Um, that should go to hopefully his Twitter account and you can get the form there. We're constantly updating the form as new information develops because I can only do flat rate shipping in the domestic, which was my original plan is to stock a lot of the stuff here because I have an entire shop and I have some storage space here and I'm getting a room back there that's being built. So, so I'm actually able to store some of that uh, goods and eventually I wouldn't mind stocking a lot of goods because that actually helps get a bottom line, better, better, better pricing at my end as well. But I am also working with the vendor and the manufacturer for doing direct shipping so we can actually get the total numbers done correctly, at least to something we can actually use. Um, so this is actually my fourth toy, but two that are actually made it to production. So I have a couple of other designs I'm working on right now, but I don't think they'll be a high seller item. They may be a high interest for one person but they're not a high seller item. And that's kind of where I'm treading waters because the price for these items, once you start breaking a certain amount um, and shooting for quality, your market is goes down actually. Um, I know this behavior because I've been doing this for about 10 years now and I've been watching closely on the sidelines. So hopefully this run will prove at least, right now it's, it's turned from a stocking to a pre-order temporarily. So that should cover a lot of things. Um, I hope to find some more pictures. We have posted the pictures of the prototype, which a couple of things that are going to be different on the reels that they're going to do with screen printing instead, which is the same quality I have on printing as the Drake toy. I can't really say much about alignment, but then again, the Drake toy had four panels, not two so those four body panels really make it hard for the machiner to line them up i would love to know what machine they're using because then i could try to replicate it here and if i can show it that there is a better way of lining it in the lab i could actually do that i do that with a lot of pre-production circuit boards i'll actually build the circuit boards here in the u.s um, at a higher expense labor cost and then i'll send it out to the factory and have them make 100 pieces or a thousand pieces even with the testing procedure they have a error rate of like one percent or less if any actually the last two shipments we had zero error rate at all it was actually our guy that hooked it up backwards <laughs> so so that used to point that a lot of these companies if if they have a good name out there and they're actually working with other reputable people they have a name to uphold so as long as you meet their they call it their minimum order quantities or large order quantities I mean, this guy at the shop does a huge order. I mean, he does see those yellow spools. That's probably that's a good amount of wire. These are brand new. I mean, he buys this stuff by the by the bulk. And if you buy it in bulk, a lot of times as you get more ability to customize, and the more you buy from a manufacturer, the higher the relationship you have, the more you're able to make more pushes. It's not good to make changes and make something very custom the first time it's around because the manufacturer, just like a maker, they're a maker too. They have to get supplies. They have to figure out how much time they want to waste with you. They hire sales rep and sales rep do have to take their commission. So the more time you spend with them, um, they have their own commissions they make. Now, if it's one item and that's it, they make a lot. That's, but if they have multiple items, and it's a little different. So that's the reason why I'm trying a different vendor this time between the previous vendor that I've used. So I'm going to be going around. I've actually got in two more other vendors I'd love to try. One of them makes the sprinklers that you see actually. I think they make those sprinklers so I might try them out the ones you see at the store. They're not the highest quality item and usually it's usually seam issues. Well I'm not going to say seam issues. If you just put these toys as decorative there is almost zero seam issues. The seam issues is the usage case. See that's why I cannot classify a lot of these products for their use. I can only classify it for decorative purposes. 
because then I have to deal with liability. I have to deal with a high level of returns. I have to deal with all this extra stuff. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of makers had say, you know what? I'd rather walk for, walk, work for Walmart and let those guys pay with those issues. You complain, you don't like something at Walmart, you return it. It's not the guy's fault that put it on the shelf. It's not the guy's fault who took it off the shelf. But then when it comes to a maker, there is no guy putting stuff on the shelf. There's only the person who actually owns and runs the business. So just put it that way. If anyone listens to this, um, this is my update and my drive for this V blog. But I have to deal with something that reason why I don't want to deal with the word custom. That's the key word here. Stocking order, a product, a product could be a service, whatever the case is. So. It could be a product. It could be something that you sell that's like back there. It could be something like an engine panel, like one of these panels that we customly, he customly cuts holes for and we design which one you want based on what you need. So, so that's my perspective at the word custom. There's a limit of how much custom you can really be to a point. And as a maker myself, when you get really, really custom, you kind of wish that you have a percentage of the other person's income by the point when you spend 90% of your time doing one thing. So other than spending 10% of the time making everyone else happy because they're not paying a fortune or they're not doing all the work themselves. So you split the work up. So that's going to be my goal is to build a relationship with a lot of uh, vendors. And hopefully I can get some more projects going at the same time in the background. I may have I may have other projects going at the same time, but I don't know. They may not be even related to this at all because I've got two other engineering projects to finish up this weekend for delivery on Monday. And I probably got one more web, two more web programming projects. And I need to keep pushing that store site. I actually promised one person I'd give them a one pager, a two pager about us and contact me the usual. You throw it up on the web and you can probably do it with the content manager. I just was trying to look for all the pictures and backgrounds and clip it out at the office so I can put up a nice looking website just really quickly and just throw it. So here you go. That's your website that people can find you online. It's really simple.